Picking it up, we have it open the bike shop, and it's a glorious day today. So we'll go out for a ride and see what it goes like. And this is the um, this is the dash on the bike, which is really nice. It's got the uh, rev counter, it's got a clock, it's got a fuel gauge, it's got all sorts of lights and things, which is really nice. Makes it easy to ride. This will be my first ride out on the bike and I've got to do about 500 kilometers today and tomorrow if I put it in for a service on Wednesday have its first service on the Wednesday so this is it for me today getting a feel for the bike it's some um, super light little engine so different to what I've been riding for the last you know, eight years with the Volt but I think it's going to be a nice choice
Well, I just thought I'd finish this little bit of video that I've been making for my YouTube. And I've just had the bike serviced down at the um, workshop where I brought it from today. So it's just had its uh, 1,000 kilometer service. In fact, when I drove into the bike shop, I think it was 1,001 kilometer on the clock ready for its service time. So um, in two, two days riding, basically, that's uh, I put a, quite a few kilometers on the bike. So now it's had its um, first service. So it's had the, uh, the weird oil that they put in on the braking in uh, part of the bike. So now it's got its normal oils and uh, I, the rev uh, can be freely revved to whatever I want it to. I did actually take it up to about 130 on the freeway coming home today. It, look, I'm not gonna go speed crazy on it. Um, it sits lovely at 120. I could see myself easily just traveling at 120 all day long or even 110 I mean that's the speed limits isn't it so um, it's great yesterday I went for quite a big ride with my friend Paul we went up into the mountains in the Sunshine Coast hinterland mountains and then we went across towards the Gympie and the, the coast on that other side and uh, had some dirt roads and some potholes like you wouldn't believe and some you know, very ordinary roads. And then some uh, mountain roads, which had 20, 30 K corners in like a, just one way, one way, one way, one way. And um, the bike handled absolutely incredible. It was handling the ride better than my poor brain box because I got myself quite scared a couple of times. And Paul was riding his big BMW uh, and he said he was scraping his boots. I don't know how he can put that bike around the corners so fast being such a big, it's a big uh, Trophy 1200 BMW and he's scraping his boots going around the corners. Uh, he, I didn't even see that because he was one in front of me. Anyway, that's that was a, a big ride and um, I would have liked to have gone a little bit slower at times on some of those back roads. I'm still not really keen on getting high speeds on those back roads. I mean high, I would like to sit on the speed limit. Um, we tend to sit a little bit above the speed limit. but. You never know what's around a corner or what's in the middle of the road or whether there's a big pothole. So perhaps a little bit slower for me at times would be nicer. Um, the bike's beautiful, I'm totally wrapped in it. Um, have to get used to a six speed gearbox. So I'm up and down the gears quite a bit and you've got to keep it in a nice rev range, mid, mid rev range, which um, you know I haven't had a taco on a bike for years and so you don't worry about it. But um, on this bike, you just need to keep it up and down on the gears. So it's a, a really a new riding experience. This is my first mo new brand new motorbike that I have brought. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, my Suzuki Boulevard. Yeah, my Suzuki Boulevard I brought brand new, which was a one, two. Oh, only two bikes ago, so not that far ago. But that was my last new motorbike, and so I'm really enjoying this bike. It's super light, super flickable tires uh, good handling is wonderful the brakes yeah they're good they um, sometimes they're a little grabby but um, perhaps they're bedding in and I'm not used to riding the bike I'm, I've got to relearn uh, how to ride a motorbike with this type of engine it's a bit buzzy um, sometimes it feels a bit ordinary like cruising on a big open freeway it it's not the best you you, you straight rows you want something a little bit curvy and you know not so dull just sitting on one constant rev for hours I think would just drive you crazy the good thing is we've got so many roads in Australia with uh, so many bends and so many um, smaller roads that are not the freeways or the main road and so we've got lots of opportunity to go riding and I've got stacks of riding to do uh, Paul, my good friend, wants me to ride all over the place with him and I'll be swapping bikes from my bike to his partner's bike, which is the CL500 Honda. And, um, you know, you just meet people. I met somebody today said, oh, do you want to come out for a ride? And this lady, she is, uh, oh, she was 72 years old, still riding a motorbike, a new motorbike. So, yeah, I was impressed and thinking, well, there's life in my, my old body yet to go for a few more years. Anyway, the bike's super. Um, if you're interested in getting a, a smaller capacity motorbike, um, then the Triumph is wonderful. Don't forget it is a single cylinder. Uh, it's not going to be like a mega 
mega horsepower um, but it's a really lovely little bike and I'm well impressed with it the Honda I like very much too but it can be a little bit blandish and I think the Triumph makes it more interesting and the, the Triumph looks beautiful lovely details and things for the price it's, it's a bargain and it's my first Triumph I've never owned a Triumph motorbike before so it's a first for me anyway I hope you um, have enjoyed this video and I trust you'll see some more as I make some more later on bye <laughs>